friends, it's PC Outcast, and we are back with Talos. Talos the Mighty. Talos the Unassailable. Ta uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, so this is the latest version, or the latest uh, build in the Divine series that I am doing with Thelosaurus. So go and check out his version of Talos as well. Talos, my Talos, is uh, a two-handed, heavy-armored shouter, basically. Although I did try for this build the extra planar, I, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, sword techniques from Final Fantasy uh, Tactics. And they are, uh, well, they're ridiculous, and they're not really very lore-friendly, but uh, it's kind of fun, anyway. So, for stuff and things. Let's take a look at uh, at perks, for example. So we're at level 38. Got perks available because I didn't do a lot of um, skills. We did smithing. Basically just went up to uh, Nordic so that I could make my sword and level it up. Um, we got just about everything in heavy armor. Might as well just list the ones I didn't get. Uh, cushioned. Uh, you know what? Who's gonna get cushioned now? Uh, phase of death, don't need that because we're wearing a helmet. Um, Doombringer just makes rallying standard work on destruction spells, and I don't have a mage with me, so that's fine, and I'm also not using any magic myself. And uh, rise above, rise above isn't too bad, actually. We might want to just throw a perk in there. Lose attack damage? Yeah, you know, why, why not? Primal fear? No, because I'm not gonna do a lot of walking around. So there you go. Basically three perks. Uh, two-handed got uh, just about everything that affects two-handed as well. Uh, the trained fighter side, all everything up both of these sides that increase the speed uh, and damage crits and all kinds of good stuff for your two-handed weapons. There's a, there's a lot of perks for this. Uh, I didn't go to overthrow because that is bashing with a great sword, so I wasn't really not that interested in that. Uh, and I didn't bother with this. Although this isn't bad. You, if you if you want to, you could go go ahead and get Slayer of, of a Thousand Sons. Uh, in combat, two-handed weapons deal five percent more damage for each humanoid or anim or animal you have slain in a previous battle, up to forty percent. Uh, this build is already so overpowered that's kind of unnecessary, but if you'd like to spend those perks there, you are welcome. The last tree that we're doing is smithing, or, sorry, speech, and we are doing uh, basically everything that increases our shout powers, uh, reduces cooldown times, and uh, makes our shouts more powerful, and allows us to do Merciless Storm, which once a day it's, it's pretty much specifically for the storm call shout. I mean, let's be honest. Storm call has too long of a cooldown to really be that cool and useful. And so Merciless Storm allows you to basically uh, uh, use that, cancel the, sh the cooldown, and then use other shouts. Uh, I also am using Dragon Souls Relinquished and I killed a whole bunch of dragons so that I could boost up my shout cooldown by 50%. And then, of course, we have the Amulet of Talos and the Blessing of Talos, which gives us a grand total of 90%. Uh, so our cooldowns are, like, ridiculous. I mean, Storm Call is the only one that really takes a long time. But we don't actually have the third uh, one on that yet. But we're getting there. We're going to go and do Foral Host in this episode because, of course, you know, what build is complete without killing Foral Host? Uh, what else we got? We got uh, the universe listens thing so that uh, shouts restore ma health, magic, and stamina. Unfortunately, that is uh, equal to your shout cooldown, and of course, shout cooldowns are reduced, so that doesn't help all that much. Uh, I went with the Lord Stone. Actually, for most of the playthrough, I was using the Tower Stone for the Mundus Standing Stone overhaul which reflects damage and melee damage specifically. But fighting dragons, that, that's good because they're doing damage to themselves, but magic resistance is 
probably going to be more useful. I decided to switch that over. We'll, we'll check it out in the fight section. Uh, we're a, a devotee of Talos, of course, which uh, reduces our shout cooldown for each enemy that we kill. And being a follower, uh, what does that do? Attacks, critical uh, strikes, and shouts are 40% more effective against elves. Now, of course, there aren't a lot of elves in Skyrim, but when we do run into them, they they die quite quickly. Uh, Warrior's Heart, combat, attack damage, elemental damage are increased by 40% based on missing health. And we're a set of Skyrim, so of course we have uh, frost resistance and things like that. And uh, I think... Oh, I also got Sailor's Repose, but that was not, not really that useful for this particular play. I am using an Infernal Ring. Now, this... Oh, does it also? It only lists that it does destruction spells, but this thing is actually supposed to increase the power of Dark Sword techniques, which are uh, these things. We've got Dusk Blade. The descriptions are not super useful. This one steals Magicka. Great. This one does shock damage in an area of effect. This one um, deals, it crushes weapons. I don't know what that means. Uh, this one uh, has a chance to pin enemies to the ground. Um, North Swain's Strike is a holy sword technique. Now I do have a ring for holy sword techniques too, if I want. Uh, this has a small chance to do double damage. And Shadow Blade uh, leeches life force from the victim. And then Shell Buff Stab is for sneak attacks, I believe. So I'm not using that, actually. I'm, I've been pretty much just using uh, Death Blade to drain magic from powerful mages. And then switch over to Shadow Blade to suck the life out of them. Yeah. Although a lot of my fights are just marked for death. And that's kind of that. Because we all know that Marked for Death is massively overpowered. And also being able to stack it. Although apparently with the latest uh, Anniversary Edition update, you can no longer do that. Too bad. Uh, for weapons, or for... Yes. For weapons, I've got a couple other things I picked up. But we've got a Flawless Nordic Greatsword. I could probably improve this a little bit further, but I haven't. And it's not really necessary. There's the Infernal Ring, which does the... Uh, the Dark Sword Techniques, and the Sanctified Ring does the Holy Sword Techniques. And then, other than that, I'm wearing the Northern God Boots. Uh, no, sorry, no Northern God Armor Set. The Boots, Ferris, Gauntlets, and Helmet, which is that beautiful thing. There is a uh, mod that adds a bunch of different variations of this, like black hair, um, brown and red and blue colors, I think, you can choose from. So if you'd like to check that out, I was thinking about trying it, but uh, well, we're already here, so we're not going to be doing that. Now, what we are going to be doing is killing some things. We'll see you there, see you there in just a second. What?
don't think I like where this is going.
Skyrim.